think I feel exactly home, much quite anywhere. Not in my head, not in my heart, my art, or my hair. This is my truth. This is the shadow between the misshapen buildings of my mind. Somewhere, again, I will sing. I will take wing. I will fly home again on the back of the rising current of the wind, back to a love that loved ones will never rescind. Somewhere, again, I'd like to believe. I will feel the power of my papers coursing through my veins with free rain. I will feel the force of my place in the world, or maybe my coordinates on the Cartesian plane rushing up against the walls of my slowly shriveling heart, propping these heartstrings, starting, startling, swinging up, holding my heart up. I let the scars of time fast forward be there to guide me. I live on the edge of heartbreak, on the face of heartache, on the false facet of a heart shake well spent. I live somewhere between my own ongoing narrative of a girl who's not me, but is puppeteered by me. And an obsession quickly becoming a compulsion in time, an insanity seeped in rhythm but never in rhyme. I live somewhere between the shine of an offbeat mountain climb, climbing into the clouds like a vertical line. But what if, what if, that is always the question. Doing things in pieces is always better because then I don't have to worry about the pieces breaking. I see the world as a series of traps to avoid. Patchwork people in front of beige walls, tumbling forward in a system of belief, a position, our limited human senses so tied to what we know, so tied to what has been created for us, tied like the laces on my shoes, but even tighter. I do not want to be tied to this. This earth, this existence, this location, this identity, these societal physics chaining imagined thoughts to imaginary people. I do not want to be a part of this mess that we call human society. And yet, I am afraid that my puppet strings will snip themselves apart and fly away, that my hot glue gun scars will guide me in the wrong direction, that whatever I have and everything I love will be broken into bits so small that I won't be able to find them anymore. I wish, I wish far too much. I am terrified that once I reach the end of this long tunnel of obscene obsession, winding, warping, wending through space, I move through space, that the world will have no place for me. And I don't even want a place in the world, but what if there was never any place to begin with? What if no one else can see the rhyme I see, see the beauty of halved cubes spilling out of themselves in a gorgeous frenzy? What if the world will pick up its little stars and moons, cut out shapes on velvet capes, and snip them away until all that is left for me is Pluto? Frozen? Frigid, ultramarine blue mixed with cold white, a dark shroud, perhaps of protection. No, an igloo of isolation. No, not on my watch. I long to flee, fly free on patterned wings, to sing my song until I reach where I've been flying toward all along, a place, not any particular place, Somewhere hiding deep in my heart that I call home, never truly alone, smiling faces, family, friends, stitched and sewn back into place.